Downtown has a lot of great bars, restaurants, nightclubs, music scene, and with all of the people that come downtown, we end up with a lot of cigarette butts. Those uh, cigarette butts wind up on the ground. Whenever there's any sort of storm event that causes runoff, then now they go into the storm drain and make their ways to our local creeks. Cigarette butts are made out of the same material as a plastic shopping bag. And what is a cigarette designed to do but to collect all the carcinogens from smoking? And you add that up over time and everyone standing outside and flicking those butts down on the ground, it uh, adds a large volume of pollution to our local creeks and streams. We identified that that was an issue. Not only did it look bad, but it was not good for our natural resources. And uh, partnered with a company called Block by Block, and they help sweep sidewalks. And then also added cigarette recycling boxes, 50 of them, throughout the downtown area. We contacted local businesses to see if they'd be interested in keeping these outside, encouraging their customers to use them, reminding people that cigarette butts are litter and that they are pollution. We actually send the cigarette butts in a box back to a company called TerraCycle and they assemble them from all over the country to make products. It's amazing to think that you can take cigarette butts, condense them down since they are plastic into small pellets and then use those pellets to compress into materials. and we've had more calls from businesses saying, I need one in front of my business, and I'd like one. It's been a very positive response. It was a really welcome surprise that this was uh, uh, something that was available to us at no cost, no less. It was something that many uh, bar owners, including ourselves, were looking into just providing something ourselves. So the fact that the city and the CID was proactive was, was great. This private and public partnership are the things that we strive for here at the City of Columbia. And it's amazing to see the response we've had from the local businesses that want to help protect our local creeks and streams.